That's right, friends. It's time for Non-Threatening Britney. For those of us that say we don't understand the song story because I made the song into a ghost story, here's me telling the story of the song in my own words without changing the genre from pop to supernatural. What are we doing with the assignment? We're taking the part of the song that tells us what happens. We're telling that part of the story in our own words, the way the song tells us. What about the stuff we don't know? We make that part up, and then we make sure that the stuff we made up matches what the rest of the song says, so it's a complete story that makes sense. We're gonna write a summary of our story first, the basic events that will happen first to last. So you have to list all the things that you know happen from what the lyrics told you, and then list the stuff that you're going to add along with that. Once that summary is finished, we're gonna write the complete story, which is one page, right? This is not a book you're writing, it's one page. And use all the details and thoughts and dialogue between the characters. If you wanna have people talk to each other, use it. Write in first person, speak from the voice of the person in the song. Don't write a story telling me what happens to someone else. Make yourself the main character and tell us what happens to you as the song progresses, because you're the person in the song. So if you look at that song, look at the lyrics. How was I supposed to know that something wasn't right here? So what do I need to do? Make up something that Brittany doesn't know that isn't right. What's the problem in the story? The problem she doesn't know about yet. I made one up. Here's my summary. Here's where I decide the story I'm going to tell before I tell it. If you don't know what story you're telling, look at the lyrics. Dream it up. Imagine it. What would be something that isn't right here? What would be a problem between two middle school students dating each other? A young woman dates a new person and she doesn't know their parents are super controlling. They monitor their phone so everything they text is seen by mom and dad. This is embarrassing to the new date so the new date doesn't tell Brittany, who's the girl telling the story. So again, what is this? This is me making up the thing that Brittany didn't know. This is me making up something that wasn't right. I created those details myself since they're not in the lyrics. Next part from the words of the song, I shouldn't have let you go and now you're out of sight. Brittany feels bad for breaking up with her date and letting them go. She doesn't see them anymore and it was only after the breakup that Brittany learned the truth because now they're out of sight. See how the words here tell me what story I'm going to write here. Next part, show me how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, because I need to know now. Brittany asks her date to do what? Tell her what she needs to be forgiven. How can she show that she's sorry for breaking their heart? And how can she be trusted again? Same as always, I take these words and I put them in the form of a story. I make stuff up that's not included. Let's go to the chorus. My loneliness is killing me. I must confess I still believe when I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. So, Brittany talks about what? How lonely she feels. But she still believes they can fix things and get back together. She feels, what? Guilty when the person's not with her and asks once again how she can make things better. Now, many students tell me they don't understand this project at all, but I think our problem is a simple one. Many of us struggle with assignments that aren't facts, multiple choice, or true and false. Projects like this can be intimidating because we have to create our own meaning. This is media production. It's all about telling a story, and we have to write it from the song. So yes, we need to use our imagination for this project, and no, I don't want us to use viral TikTok or YouTube songs, novelty songs that are meant to be a cheap internet joke, then turn the assignment into a joke. No TV theme songs either. Pick a song you might hear on the radio by a legitimate artist. Let's write solid stories instead of writing bad ones for funsies. I think a lot of us are just afraid to write a story, but we can write good stories we just have to take the time to do it. Once that story is complete, we're gonna read it out loud onto our phones. Then we'll edit it as an audio project in Premiere Rush. If you don't have a phone, you'll read it into a camera. Then import it into your computer to edit as an audio project. So here's the beginning of my story. Yours needs to be one page long, right? Right. You know how sometimes you think you know everything about a situation, but in reality, you know nothing at all? Yeah, that's me right now. 
Those few sentences are a paraphrase of what? How was I supposed to know? Next paragraph, I was too impulsive. I was too eager to believe my own thoughts instead of listening to yours. It bugged me that I didn't hear from you much after school, and when I did, your messages were short and stale. When we're together, things are great, but I felt like when I wasn't in front of you, I didn't exist. What's this a paraphrase of? Something wasn't right here. All I did was make up the problem. I wish they texted me more. I didn't know your parents monitored every word you texted to your friends. It's really creepy and I hate it. But I should have talked with you more instead of just breaking things off. Now you're avoiding me and I barely see you anymore. The first part, what am I paraphrasing? Something wasn't right here. I'm telling you that your parents are snooping on your phone. That's weird. I hate it. What about the next part? I shouldn't have let you go. I should have talked with you more instead of just breaking things off. Now you're avoiding me and I barely see you anymore. Now you're out of sight. So you're taking the words of the song, writing the story that the song tells you to write and adding details so you can make it fit in one page. This is our next assignment. When we're done with that, we will record it, we will edit, and then we'll have an audio project. And yes, each of us will need to have our own narration read, recorded, and edited. My next step is to show you how to do that. That's all I got. Thanks. Bye-bye.